A man accused of shooting at an off-duty police officer at a packed restaurant in East Memphis last month is now a free man. Chase Harris faces multiple felony counts, but his low bond left some people, including the mayor, questioning the county's new bail bond system. Action News 5's Kelly Cook joins us now live with this story. Kelly? Well, Joe, Harris was only locked up for a matter of hours before he posted that bond under the new bail system. Uh, you have to get a hearing within 72 hours of an arrest. But as you mentioned, it's the amount of the bond that is raising some eyebrows, including the mayor who says enough is enough. Shots fired outside a busy Huey's restaurant late last month. Memphis police say 19-year-old Chase Harris fired his weapon at an off-duty police officer who allegedly caught Harris and another suspect trying to steal a car. Harris was arrested Tuesday, bonded out the following day. His bond just $55,000. All they do is stop in for a cup of coffee and a rest and they get right back out to the break into your car and steal cars all across the city. I'm tired of it and it has to stop. Our court system is broken. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland has been a sharp critic of the new bail bond system. Under the new program, bail is set using a nationally recognized formula and an assessment system that considers past criminal history and a defendant's ability to pay. It's not judges traditionally setting bonds, but 14 appointed judicial commissioners that determine flight risk or danger to the community. I've asked them to be transparent, put these bonds Every day, I mean, they sign a one-page bond paper, post it on the internet so the public knows who's doing it. I've gotten zero response to that. Harris's case, the 19-year-old has been charged in multiple car thefts in the past five months. In December of last year, he confessed to police he stole a car and was released on his own recognizance. A January car theft charge was dropped due to lack of evidence. He was given a $10,000 bond for two car theft charges from April. He can now add five counts of aggravated assault in addition to car burglary charges following the Huey's incident, for which he was given a $45,000 bond. Harris has never been found guilty of any charges as an adult. District Attorney Steve Mulroy said back in February the ability for a defendant to be free on bond shouldn't come down to whether or not they have the ability to pay. Because under the old system, um, we had a lot of people who were innocent, who were being held behind bars for months, sometimes years, waiting for their day in court. Now today, D.A. Mulroy says he does support vigorously prosecuting and sentencing violent criminals. Harris is due back in court in June for that December car theft charge. Kelly Cook, Action News 5.